What happens to human bodies when a sub implodes? Your body is essentially meat with several sacs and hollows of air inside of it. And when you're cruising around on Earth's surface, you're used to about one atmosphere of pressure. Down here where the Titan submersible got Thanos snapped, it's about 400 atmospheres. That's about 6,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. But how many square inches is a human being? The average adult male is about 5'9 and weighs approximately 200 pounds. If you work that out, it's about 21 square feet, which is about 3,000 square inches. So you've got 3,000 square inches and 6,000 pounds of pressure per square inch. That's 18 million pounds of pressure. This is why the quality of your submersible matters so much. Ideally, you want a cutting edge submersible that's going to keep all of that pressure away from your body. That is obviously not what happened on Titan. It basically became a tube of toothpaste in a hydraulic press. The upside to catastrophic implosions, that's not a sentence you ever think you're gonna say, is that they happen very quickly. In the case of Titan, you're literally talking less than a millisecond, maybe even a nanosecond. That's why you keep hearing people say they never knew it happened, but there's actually cool anatomy behind this. It takes time for information like pain to be transmitted through your nerves to your brain and be processed. In the case of pain, it takes approximately 100 milliseconds. That's 99 milliseconds longer than it took for the implosion. What's really crazy is it takes 13 milliseconds for you to process visual imagery. So that means you're crushed before you even know that you saw it. Now we're gonna talk about leftovers and this might get a little dark. If you're not interested in that, you don't have to stay for it. There were five people on the Titan submersible. Let's assume they weigh 180 pounds each. That means there's 900 pounds of remains that have to go somewhere. So why won't you find anything? First off, we have to deal with the cooking. Yes, cooking. That submersible has a giant air bubble inside of it. And when it fails, the pressure is going to compress that air. And when that happens, it heats up to about the temperature of the sun, which is 10,000 degrees Fahrenheit. If there was anything left after the ocean instapot event, it would be immediately reduced to a gel. And that gel-like substance would be ejected out of all of the seams of that now crushed submersible at extremely high velocity. That press formed and cooked meat product will now enter into the great circle of life where it will go on to become part of something else. Which I admit sounds dark, but that's where we all end up. Hi. Hi. How are you? You have questions. Yes. I, I had a lot of questions. I'm sure you had a lot of questions, but rest assured, we're going to answer them right now. 